committed to just charging $100 for three credit flows. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm Arlene Coughlin, and my husband is the director of the Career Center, and I'm here helping out today just to get the traffic going through. I'm Carmela Ayanna Rome, and I work here. I'm a paraeducator, and I work with the Culinary Arts Program and Medical Human Services and Early Childhood Education. My husband's been director here for, I don't know how many years, eight years now, but every career center he's worked at, I've helped him. I, we come as a team usually. Good morning, it's Tim Johnson. We are at the Wyndham Regional Career Center, Career Center Expo, with the pleasure of speaking with David Coughlin, the Career Center Director. You know, I just spoke with a student a while ago who was uh, quite articulate about their program and about what they want to do with their lives. Are these the kind of skills that you try to instill upon the young men and women who uh, come through the door? And yes, Tim, but, uh, I I'm really proud of the students that come out of our career center. But very often what we hear is, uh, you know, students say, well, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and they put me in a career center class. And then, then after they get through that career center class, they find out that we've given them some uh, skills that really begin to build their confidence and uh, begin to build their abilities to really blend into either career or college. Uh, they really understand what it's like to enter the world of work and their responsibilities to go to college and, and, uh, and increase their, uh, their ability to, to help us as we move on into this, into this wonderful 21st century world. Yeah, the people who succeed out there in the working world are the ones who not only have skills, but can be an aggressive advocate for themselves, and I'm glad to see that you do teach both. How we do, we really want these students to th start to think on their feet. Uh, they work in partnership with their instructors. Uh, very often they're working on projects of their own uh, as they really begin to you know, learn what we're trying to get done here in the, uh, in the career center. Well, you know, the, the, we don't have a, we, we used to have a drafting program, we really do have drafting, but no one drafts, or I should say relatively few people use drafting tables and draft with pen and pencil anymore. It's all done on computer. And the neat thing about it, we have students here that can, you know, draft their ideas out on the computer and get the whole thing, and then they can walk over to our new 3D printer, and they can actually make a 3D model of that that is, uh, in many cases, very functional and working. And uh, we look forward to hearing more success stories right here in this building. Well, I think you're going to hear a lot from our students today. Those are indeed, uh, those are our most important product, and, and they're going to talk about what they've been doing here, and uh, I'm sure that you're going to hear a lot. Um, I represent VSAC, which is the Vermont Student Assistance Corporation, and we provide college and career planning and financial aid services to all Vermonters. So we support all the programs at the Career Center that help students get prepared for careers in college. We also offer financial aid programs, including scholarships and grants, including our college pathways, which are um, on college campuses around the state, and it's a free day of college and career planning workshops for parents and students. Start Where You Are, which is an online career planning program that we have on our website. So we encourage people to attend these events, use our free resources, and make the connections between college and career while they're still in high school. The best way to get information from BSAC is our website, which is www.bsac.org, and our toll-free phone number is 1-800-642-3177. Hi, I'm Carol Walsh. I'm Bailey Page. Uh, we're here for our Future Business Leaders of America, and we're selling raffle tickets to earn money to go to states, along with the other organized uh, members of FPLA up in Burlington in late March. We go to Red World Union High School and we both take classes at the Career Center. I'm a senior, I'm a junior. You, for five dollars you have 30 chances to win various prizes throughout the month. We pick a winner every day and we, know, we call or email you and notify you to pick up your prizes. And that's the month, the month of March. Um, uh, other members of FBLA are going around and selling them tickets also um, until February 28th. Yes. Um, any FBLA member will have tickets on them. Members of business classes or um, Ms. Cornell and Ms. Kelsey teach business classes at uh, the Center. It's a, like a student-driven thing to acquire more business 
skills, so it's a learning as well as the fundraising. I'm with Universal Technical Institute. We're the largest automotive and diesel technical school in the country. We're the NASCAR Technical Institute, the Marine Mechanics Institute, the Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. And you can locate our website at www.uti.edu. This is my first time at the Career Center, although I'm a regular guest speaker in the different technical classes. Danielle Claire, I'm the ambassador for automotive. Um, the program is a really hands-on program. Um, it's uh, four classes, you know, a theory class, a basic intro, um, and then subsystems followed by electro uh, electric systems. Um, you get science credits for it, which is fantastic. Um, freshmen are a sophomore to get into the intros, and then they're prerequisites um, for the older classes, so you're probably only going to be a junior or a senior by the time you get to the upper classes. But after our programs here, you have a better direction. What about yourself? Myself? Um, I did look at New England Tech, uh, Technical Institute in Rhode Island, um, and I like them, and also uh, UNOH in Ohio. I'm Mr. Valier. I'm the auto tech instructor here, and this is Mr. Pasha. Um, he's up here, my assistant. New regime in here. I'm a first year teacher with great backing from Mr. Pasha. We've got a few years in the, in the program. Um, between the two of us, making great changes in here, and, you know, incorporating a lot of hands-on versus classroom. You know, the kids are getting both ends of it. Um, working customer cars two days a week, we open up the shop. So we have you know, live vehicles in here, repair orders, everything shop-based, you know, like you see in industry. We, our first block is, um, what do we get, 845 to 1020. 845, 1020. Or 1010. Um, we have a little break, then we have the next class come in from 1045 to 120. So we, we short hours, only take four or five cars in, but um, it's better than not having the hands on. You know, some programs out there have a couple vehicles that they, they deal with in the shop. I like to get everybody's car in here. So they have a Subaru one day, they'll have a diesel pickup the next. Well, we usually, we usually try to keep it as much as possible to either relatives, parents of students, faculty members, uh, we don't really open it up to the general public because I think we'd be so inundated with work. Um, so we try to keep that limited down in that respect. This facility has been in existence for about eight years. Yeah, this brand new building we have. We have a five bay uh, facility for vehicles. Uh, we can actually put more vehicles in here than that, but uh, we got five. You, you know, we have four basic lifts and one four-post lift. Mm -hmm. So alignments. You know, the kids are learning how to do alignments, steering, and chassis components. Um, the basic general function of an engine, how it works. Um, a lot of theories involved. The backgrounds of vehicles. You know, in depth on brakes, tires, maintenance. S Seventy to seventy-five percent will either go to college or right into the industry, you know, and keep the automotive field in one way, shape, or form, be it diesel, motorcycle mechanics, auto body, something to do with the transportation industry. Right. Um, you know, and the other 30% want to take it for their own general knowledge, um, just to have the skill under their belt. Maybe some will work on a farm, um, some will go into forestry trade, but they have the automotive background. We're a sophomore junior based class. Um, with permission, we can allow seniors in here. Uh, I'm Steve B. from Lincoln Technical Institute in East Windsor, Connecticut. And at our campus, we teach a variety of technical fields for auto techs, diesel techs, collision repair, and custom paint. We teach welders, heating, ventilating, air conditioning, refrigeration, electricians, and motorcycle power sports technicians. Absolutely. www.lincolntech.com will get them right to it. Hi, I'm from Vermont Technical College. We are the only public technical college in the state. Our sister colleges are Johnson, Castleton, Linden, and CCU. We are our main campus is located in Randolph Center, Vermont, and we have a second campus in Williston, the south of Arlington, and nursing sites around the state. In fact, we have one right down here in Brownsboro. Uh, our specialties are engineering, technology, health sciences, and agriculture. And our newest program is our professional pilots program, which we just announced earlier this week. If you want information about any of the things that we have, you can uh, look us up at www.ptc.edu or call us at 1-800-442-8821. Okay, well this is the uh, 
electronics program. We do regular electronics, just the basis of everything, of why your phone gets power and where the power goes to. And then there's the digital electronics class, which is all about uh, the real in-depth stuff, like so what the ones and the zeros mean in a binary count, uh, how this little robot that's kind of rolling around. There's a little robot that just kind of runs around and it'll hit something and then it'll move because of the digital stuff, the code that we run. Uh, it's a lot of really fun stuff. It's a lot of hands-on. We get to have a um, really good time in here and I definitely think it's a really good experience. I'm going to go to college for this stuff and I already have college credits. Uh, definitely a good idea. Um, I mean, I wouldn't... I, I love this stuff. Well, if you're... It depends on what your sending school thinks. For BUHS, uh, you can just come in. Uh, you can sign up for as a sophomore. Sometimes as a freshman, if you're lucky, you can get in. You just fill out an application and you come in. And if you're really serious about it, you'll get into the class. And it's it's a lot of fun. And I mean, if you're sending school, sometimes you have to be a junior to come down. And it's you just, yeah, it's just like any other class. You just sign up for it. Well, the the courses in here are a block every day, just like a normal for the high school, just like a normal day. Um, which is a normal class, but for me, I've gotten college. I've gotten four college credits from each class that I've taken, and um, I'm really excited to be able to go to college with a semester already paid for. And it's it's really cheap. It's a hundred dollars a class for each four credits, and versus the fourteen hundred dollars that you'd spend on a normal, normal college class. And if you have any problems with money, the Career Center is absolutely amazing with the scholarships that they have, and they can they can really help out. My name's Joe. Uh, been in the class. I'll be two years now. Um, do a whole bunch of different stuff throughout the class. You start out, uh, you learn a little bit about tree ID, how to identify them by the leaf, bark, things like that. Then uh, you'll start getting into a little bit of dirt work, um, drainage. Uh, from there, you go and you learn about the national and Vermont soils competitions. From there, you'll go and learn about the Vermont Forestry Contest, which is a whole conglomeration of Tree, tree ID work, maple sugaring, a um, little bit of Christmas tree, and general forestry knowledge. Then from there, you'll go outside and you start working around with uh, chainsaws and stuff like that. You'll learn how to cut trees, delimb them, skid them out. You'll learn a little bit of equipment operation. And then on rainy days and stuff, you'll get taught how to climb, um, do tree climbing. I mean, that's really about it. And the rest of the year, you just kind of hone in on all those skills that you've learned. And, are you a student here? I am. What grade are you? 12th grade. You're a Yep. How long have you been involved in this? Um, well, I took pre-tech class and uh, took class last year and then the class got changed around a little bit. So I decided, you know what, I like the class and I'll join it again. So I joined it again this year. Damn, you all sat over there. I'm good. In case I start flopping down the hillside here.
Wyndham Regional Career Center. Well, we have a lot of time working in the greenhouse with plants. Um, we also work a lot outside doing some um, maintenance on the trees and shrubs we have here at the school. Um, we like to visit other places in the community and do some work for them as well. Um, we're also really getting, getting started. I'm brand new this year, so this is my first year teaching in this school, and um, I'm really trying to focus some efforts towards making and growing some food out of our greenhouse space to support maybe the cafeteria or our culinary program. Um, so that's a major goal for the near future is to um, work with the students to produce some food. The, my previous position was the farm manager for the UVM Extension 4-H Youth Agriculture Project, which is a summer program providing jobs for um, teens giving them some job skills. So it's a, it was a really good fit to come over here because we do a lot of the same stuff. We try and provide some job skills for young, young people and um, prepare them so that when they leave, they're um, more attractive to the job market. We get to look at the whole cycle, you know, grow some food, compost what's left, stay healthy, learn about what the plants need. Uh, one of the first things I did was created our own compost because we need a place, you know, I think that's a really important um, important thing to, to teach the students is, you know, you don't, you spend a lot of money on these resources and if you can get those resources back again, that's really important. So we compost all the waste that comes out of the greenhouse goes into our bins and eventually you know we'll be able to spread that um, really rich compost on our garden beds and, and maybe even some fruit trees or whatever we can get going. There's a lot of great potentials out there you know we have um, students who are interested in using equipment and if we had you know a composting program we could even do it on site if we could find the space for that. Uh, hello this is the Wyndham Regional Career Center Culinary Program. We have a restaurant called The Hideaway. We have a four-hour program for students interested in being a chef. We also have an introductory course, which is baking. We have another course in international food, which we do lots of uh, casserole-type dishes from Spain, Mexico, Italy, China. Um, some of the kids want to be chefs. Some of them want to learn how to cook at home. I was a chef prior to being a teacher. So I worked in a restaurant since I was the age of these kids. Um, and I've been teaching here for the last six or seven years. Basically, as a chef, in a smaller place you cook a lot, but in a bigger place you're organizing people according to their skills and who can read recipes, who can learn by seeing it, who's got a good memory, who needs more practice with a knife, and just assigning tasks based on that. Um, chefs usually have crazier hours and work later, and that's one nice part of being a teacher. We're trying to get a lot more food here um, where it's going to be grown by us and cooked by us um, so that, one, there's a bigger connection between horticulture and culinary, but also just people see where food comes from besides the supermarket. Hi, my name is Annabelle Kidson. Um, I'm Willow Cornella. And uh, we're with film and digital editing. And uh, I, know, I really like this class. <laughs> my main requirement is interest in the subject matter and an eagerness to learn and work. That's really, I mean, I don't really care if they have any knowledge of the of filmmaking at all. But as long as they're enthusiastic about the possibility of learning, that, that I care about. We just actually got finished with um, these projects called One Minute um, Documentaries. Um, it was about some interesting aspect of ourselves and we had to do all the filming, editing, um, we had to develop what we wanted 
our story to be about. Um, so we just finished with all those projects on each of our students had to do one. We're going to be doing a five to ten minute documentary soon on anything we want, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm a senior. Senior. And I'm a junior. Great. Yeah, it's an all-year course. Now so. what about your, your new documentaries that you did? Are they something that are going to be shown on the uh, school television um, station? Or? Uh, well, our program separate from the television program, but um, it's, a I, it's, it's a possibility, <laughs> yeah. Um, what we're doing right now is we're learning medical terms and abbreviations and also focusing on medical dosages, like changing medical dosages from milligrams to micrograms back to grains so that we know um, how to prescribe right. And we've learned that if you have a few, like over three tablets, then double check the prescription to make sure it's right. Um, we have a career of the week every week. And this week's was a physician's assistant, so we learned about that, did a lot of research on that. So it helps us find... Every week a different one? Yep. So the people in this class are, they know they want to get into the medical field, but they might not know what they want to do in it. And the career of the week is very helpful to figure out what you want to do. Brenda Atwater, and I'm in 11th grade. I'm part of the early childhood program, which right now we're doing co-op experiences. So two days a week we'll go out to um, area daycares or preschools or elementary schools and work with them for about an hour and teach their classes, be involved with the children. And um, on the other three days that we're in the class, we are part, we're learning about children's literature. And so the history of children's literature and the books now and how that can relate to children's stories. Um, I want to be a kindergarten teacher with a minor in special education as well. Uh, this is SUNY Delhi. We're at State University um, of New York. We're a college of technology. We offer a lot of hands-on programs, small class sizes. Um, in addition to traditional courses like business and accounting, nursing, veterinary science technology for students who may be interested in the veterinarian field. Um, we are located in the Catskills of New York. Our contact website is www.delhi.edu. Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm from the State University of New York at Cobleskill. Uh, we are a residential college. We are 45 miles west of Albany, New York, a little over two hours from Brattleboro. Um, we have three schools, the School of Liberal Arts, Business, and Agriculture. If you'd like more information about SUNY Cobleskill, you can go to www.cobleskill.edu. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm from the Wyndham Regional Career Center. Um, I work through the dance program. We offer technique classes in ballet, modern, jazz, hip hop, belly dance, salsa, ballroom, and a lot of other styles as well. Um, we also offer academic classes in anatomy, sociology, which is the study of dance in different cultures, history, and dance composition, creating your own dance pieces. Uh, we use this skeleton uh, in our anatomy classes for reference. I actually went through the dance program as a high schooler when I was enrolled in BUHS. And now I teach the dance program. I spent 10 years in New York City um, with an all-women's contemporary dance company and I came back to uh, join an intentional community and be part of the dance community in Brattleboro. Uh, I would go to the Wyndham Regional Career Center website and check it out. I think it's the Performing Arts Dance Program. I'm Keith. I'm here with the New England Center for Circus Arts. We have all sorts of programs at the New England Center for Circus Arts. We have programs for children, very, very young. We have classes for parents and tots together, uh, all ages of children, all skill levels, building up to the intermediate youth program and the advanced youth program. We have performance opportunities for all of those kids. We also have classes for adults. Uh, and the reason that we're here today at the WRCC Expo is because we are running a circus class in conjunction with the Wyndham Regional Career Center. So well, we have kids that can come in for their first period of their day as part of their high school class and come and study and learn all about circus. Yes, let's see.
Well, we're right in the middle of our uh, winter term at the circuit school, so we'll have new classes starting up in the spring, and you can find the schedule for all of that on our website, which is necenterforcircusarts.org. NECenterForCircusArts.org has all of the scheduling information. Um, I teach uh, an alternative English class uh, for 11th and 12th graders at the Career Center. And so I feel like I have kind of the best job actually um, at the Career Center because I have students from all different programs and they come to me and they learn workplace skills and they develop portfolios for the workplace or for college and we get them ready to go out to the real world. So it's a little bit of a different, um, a different English class. Um, they learn about what professional development is um, in their fields, um, and they really do everything through exploring either the career program that they're in or even another career that they're, they may have become more interested in. I teach a junior English class and a senior English class, and then I'm now teaching a Vermont Technical College dual enrollment class this semester, so that's new. My name is Betsy Gentili, and I am the Adult Education Coordinator and the Workforce Development Manager here at the Wyndham Regional Career Center. It's possible to earn college credit while you're taking Career Center courses. Here we have a new ambassador program where students um, are designated from each program to be ambassadors to welcome people into the classrooms and go on tours to our sending schools to talk about our programs and to help lead tours that happen here during the year. Yeah, Wyndham Regional Career Center, Vermont.com, WWRCVT.com.